Hey guys, it's Nikki, and today I am back with another video. So today I'm going to be doing a review, a swatch party. Uh, yeah, all of that I'm going to be sharing it with you on Her Beauty Cosmetics. I am working with them. They do not know I'm making this video. So this isn't sponsored, but they did send me all of these products, and I'm so thankful that they sent me these, and I'm really happy with all of this stuff. So I'm excited to test everything out with you guys and let you know my thoughts. So we'll just get on into the video. So the first thing is the 3D Mink eyelashes, and they sent me three of them. These are the eyelashes. This is how they look in the box. Their boxes are gorgeous. Um, I love the packaging. I'm obsessed with it. This one's Candice, and these are Ziomara. These are gorgeous lashes. I'm a big fan, and I highly suggest these if you're looking for new lashes to try out. So now we'll talk about a uh, lip pencils. So they sent me three, and these are in the shade Poppy, Rubis, and Pop. So let's just swatch them and test them out. So this is the first poppy. This is really pretty. At first it took a second for me to really glide it on really easy. I did like a couple strokes and then it started gliding on easier. But yeah, this is a really pretty red color. It's kind of like a light cherry red. Then the last one is Rubis, which is a very dark, almost the shade I have on kind of red. So it would actually go great with this lipstick. This is the last one. So yeah, really nice shades. Um, they do glide on really easy. They remind me a lot of the MAC ones. So uh, probably a cheaper alternative. The next ones we'll try out are the lipsticks. And can we just talk about the packaging here? These look like Dior lipsticks. Like... This packaging is stunning. I'm obsessed with it. So the first shade is Shalea. I don't know what it is, um, but yeah, this one is a very dark plum. That's a very, very purple color. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of it because I'm not big on purples, um, but I'll test it out. Maybe during the fall I'll wear it. The next shade is Sabra. Seb Sabra? S-A-B-R-A. -A. This looks like it's gonna be a nude and everyone knows I love my nude shades so let's see. Okay yeah this is gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Okay so this is probably gonna be like my go-to by them. Um, This is so pretty. I'm obsessed with this like gorgeous. It's just a perfect nude peach looking color and I'm obsessed with those shades. My like favorite things to wear. So the last one is Amina. Amini? I'm definitely botching these names. This one again is a dark purple. This one's lighter than the first but it's still a dark purple um, and like I said I'm not a very big purple person so I'm not sure how much I'll wear it. The lipsticks are really nice, really creamy. They seem like they're gonna work really nice. The next one is a matte lipstick, which this one is like, you like twist it up. You can only set thumbs up or down for a song playing on a custom radio station. Okay, this is really pretty and I really like this. I've never seen a lipstick like this before. Like I've seen lip glosses like this, but I've never seen a lipstick like this. I'm into it. I got a little too much, so it's a little bit clumpy, but there's that, and this is gorgeous. It looks amazing. I'm officially obsessed with it. Just how it like glides on even is just so cool. And that color is super gorgeous. It's like a rosy color. Yes. The next two, I think these are their velvet formula. The first one is this red one in BFF and the second one is in Zigzag and it's again a purple shade. I love this. It's a lighter red than what I'm wearing right now and it has such a good formula. Amazing. Like, we're getting up there on my arm. 
so I'm probably gonna have to wash these off before I swatch the rest of them. But the next one is the purple one in zigzag. This is definitely like a really purple purple lipstick. I'm not sure how I feel about the purple lipstick, but um, they still look great formula. They also come off pretty easy, which is nice because sometimes you get lipsticks that are just like really hard to get off, you know? And these are pretty easy. They're coming off pretty good. So the last lipsticks are all matte lipsticks. And these are all different. They're all different shades. We'll just start with this red one. This one is in the shade Chai. This is the one I have on my lips right now. I'm obsessed with this. This reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills one in, um, what shade is it? I forgot what shade it is, but it's like a really dark vampy red shade. And it's pretty much this. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the Anastasia one, then I recommend getting this one because it's gorgeous. That's a little bit lighter than how it looks on my lips right now, as you can tell, but this isn't fully dried yet. They do dry really quick. I'm not the biggest fan of the formula. It's nice, but it doesn't glide on as easy as I had hoped, if that makes sense. They're not the, like, creamiest. They just, you have to gather, like, quite a bit of product to get it up to how you want it. But overall, I do really love it, and of course, it's a gorgeous lip. The next one is another purple, and this is an Ziri, Zuri, Ziri, however you say it. Again, a very dark, plummy purple very dark plum purple. The next one is a brown shade in Zuburi. They have some different names that I've like never heard of, but it's pretty cool, so I'm down with it. So this one's definitely like a darker brown shade. So yeah, definitely like a really dark brown. I hope this looks good on me because I never tried like this dark of brown, this deep of brown. Maybe it'll work best for me during summer. I'm excited to try that one out and test it on my skin see how it is um the next shade is ash and it's this like dusty orange shade i believe yeah like that's that's a really dusty orange lipstick it might look a little more like red on the screen but it's definitely like dusty orange which i think will look nice for the fall and it might look good when i have a tan too you know so the next one is Sypho, which I think this one's going to be like a purpley pink, maybe like a fuchsia. Ooh, I like this. This is, this reminds me kind of of that one matte lip that like twists up. Really pretty color. This is definitely one of those shades that I'll wear a lot, but it's that one right there. Yes, sorry, my swatches are kind of like all over, but yeah, that's a really nice shade. And the last one is in Zolina. Zolina? I think this one's gonna be kind of a nude. This one's kind of like the top one, except for this one's a little more pink. The other one's a little more purple toned, and this one's more pink. So this one's actually probably my favorite. This one, that's the last swatch. So pretty, I like it, I'm into it. Overall, I would rate these, okay, so we're gonna rate them out of 10 because that's kind of like the basic writing, right? So the lip pencils, I would say, are about like a eight, nine, I would write it, because these, uh, they do remind me of the MAC lip pencils, so obviously that means that they're pretty good. Um, maybe not as like, as creamy as the MAC lipstick ones, but they're definitely like up there and lip pencils. The next ones are the lipsticks, which are these. Packaging gives me like a big rating in this because I am obsessed with this packaging. Um, I do wish they had a little bit more of a nude section than because they mostly have like red, pinks, purples, that kind of shade tone. So I do wish they had a little bit more of like the nudes because nudes are my favorite shades. I do really like the lipsticks. They they remind me of something from like Maybelline or NYX. They are really nice lipstick and I do really like Sabra, Sabra, Sabra. I don't know how to say it, but I do really like this shade because this one's the closest thing to nude and I'm obsessed with this one. So I would rate these 
probably a 8 out of 10. Um, maybe 9 out of 10 just because of the packaging. Um, because just that just looks so fancy. I love it. The matte lipstick that has the, the like spin up one. This one, I would rate this a 8 out of 10. I haven't actually tried it on my lips yet, so I can't give it like this huge rating and how I like it on my lips and stuff. But from how I swatched it, I really liked it and I hope I really like this on my lips. I think it might be a little, a little more like of a thick material on my lips though, which I'm not sure if I like or not. Next ones are the velvet lips and I'm loving this red one. I think the swatch makes it look amazing and I'm so excited to use this on my lips. I think it's going to be a really gorgeous shade and of course like I said I'm not really much for purple. I will definitely try the red and I'll see how I like this. I'm sure I'll love it. The last ones are the matte liquid lipsticks which as you can see I really like this one. The one thing I will say about all of the products is that they don't have a good smell which is which kind of disappoints me and these just have like a I don't know if you know the smell but like it's kind of just like a cheap makeup smell if that makes sense if you've smelt that smell before you know what I'm talking about I would just probably change the smell if anything because I think the smell would make it a lot better I do love the packaging on all of these I think they all look gorgeous and they're just, I think this reminds me of ColourPop the most. It reminds me of the ColourPop formula a little bit too because the matte lips is like this. But I would rate the matte liquid lipsticks a, let's say, 8 because you have to apply quite a bit of it and it is a bit like thick once you do apply because if you just apply a thin layer then you're not going to have that much so then you have to apply more and when you apply more then it makes it a little bit more like thick on your lips. Overall I really do love their products and you should definitely check them out. I will have all of I'll have their social medias linked below and I'll have their um, website linked below so that you can check them out if you do like their products from what you've seen on my channel then I say definitely go buy yourself treat yourself so I'm I'm filming again because I have now tried out some of the other products and so I just wanted to put a little more info in talking about the products so I still love the lashes I haven't tried all three still these are amazing I love them I'm excited to try out the other shapes and they're really easy to size to your eyes, if you know what I mean, because you have to like cut them to your eye shape. And they're really easy to work with, so I love these. I, I think they're amazing. These are about $14 each, so yeah, they come in this really aesthetically pleasing box because it's just gorgeous. When I first saw it, I was like that packaging though like it looks like Huda Beauty lashes so cool so whenever I had first filmed this video I hadn't tried these lipsticks that have the amazing packaging again but I had tried this one now which is the nude one that I said it was probably gonna be one of my favorites which it is I love it it's gorgeous I'll put a picture in like right here or like right there um, showing what this one looks like because it's amazing so gorgeous I'm obsessed with it um, and the formula is really nice and it does definitely like you can get it in the places it needs to go and of course like I said the packaging is absolutely amazing so I'm definitely obsessed with the packaging so these are $12 each so not too bad, not too bad. They're really nice and very pretty colors. I'm obsessed. These are the liquid lipstick, which I have Chi on my lips again. I was wearing this in the beginning of the video too. Um, but I just love this shade so much that I wanted to use it again today. So yes, this is just a perfect vampy red and I'm obsessed with it. So these are waterproof lipsticks. And that might be the reason why at first when I made this video I was kind of like they're really 
drying like they're not very they're not they don't feel bad on the lips at all and they don't make your lips super chopped after wearing them um i usually put chapstick on before anyways but yeah these are really great they remind me of the kylie lip kits i haven't actually used them but i've seen pictures of them on people and this is what they remind me of these are 14 dollars each and they have a gorgeous range of color and these are stunning and they actually do stay on like there's nothing it's just amazing and I love these I'm definitely going to use these a ton during the summer when I'm going to like water parks and stuff because my lips can still be popping and not come off in the water so this one, I thought they said it's a matte lipstick, but on their website it says it's a suede lipstick. It's the one that just kind of like rolls up into the felt tip and then you put it on your lips. So I'm not sure about the applicator yet because I feel like that's not going to get in all the spots, but I haven't put this on my lips yet, so I don't know. Um, this one's $17. And it says, our liquid suede cream lipsticks glide on and set into a striking matte finish. Okay, that makes sense. Now available in six more velvety soft shades. This waterproof lippy creates a positively polished look with every swipe. So, that's amazing. This is waterproof too. Um, yes, yes, I'm obsessed with this, like, waterproof thing going on because I feel like not many people make waterproof lipsticks and it's really not helpful because during the summer we want our lips to be popping right right am i right so the next ones are the vinyl lip lacquer lacquer however you say that these are 14 dollars each again um about the same price as the matte waterproof ones i'm not the biggest fan of the finish on these. I do think they smell amazing. Like, this smells so much better than any of the other products. Like, yes. Um, I, I think that they definitely should make their other products have a better smell, if there's anything I have to say about them. Um, but these say the Vinyl Lip Locker gloss Lip Gloss designed with high impact pigments to give that shine while still being creamy and soft on your lips. The long wearing formula consists of moisture for your lips in order to prevent further use lip liner. So I did try this one out on my lips today, but I wasn't the biggest fan of the finish on my lips personally. I, I know that everyone has a different opinion on how lipsticks look on them. And to me, I just don't like this kind of finish on my lips. I think it makes my lips look weird for some reason. Um, but these are good and they smell really nice. And they are very moisturizing. So if you are into this kind of lip, I definitely recommend these. And the last things are the lip liners. These are $14 each. And these are very creamy. Like I said, they remind me of MAC lipstick liners so they are definitely high quality and they're amazing and I think they come with a lot more different colors so these are their coal liners this ultra long wearing lip liner has a creamy texture that glides across the lips for a very easy and comfortable application the lip liner sharpens easily in most standard size sharpeners just make sure your sharpener is not dull the coal liners can be worn alone or layered with your favorite Her Beauty Cosmetics lip gloss or liquid lipstick. Alright, so now you know a little bit more about the products and I hope you guys enjoyed my review because I like watching reviews on different kinds of makeup. It helps me, especially if I'm wanting to buy something. If you guys want to buy anything, I will leave their website down below. I'll leave their Insta and all that information down below so you can check them out. I want to say a huge thank you to Her Beauty for sending me these products. I'm so grateful and I am so happy to be trying out your products and thank you for this opportunity and also thank you guys. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in the next video.
Bye. Oh, I ask myself, what am I doing here?